Hey guys, what's up? So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to um get, download Minecraft Xbox 360 maps and install them on your Xbox so you can play them with your friends and stuff. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a flash drive. Any um size will work as long as it's big enough, maybe like 500 megabytes, anything bigger, anything works really. You just need enough to put like a two maps on your flash drive, just not that much space. So, um, that's all you're gonna need is this Horizon, which is a computer or a computer program, and that basically allows you to mod stuff. It's free software, no viruses included or anything like that. Or you can also use Modio, but I recommend Horizon highly because it's just the best one out there. So, what you're gonna start off with doing is you're gonna head over to your Xbox. Let me get this to focus here. Now head over to your Xbox and you're gonna click create new world. Doesn't matter anything like that, just click create new world. It's gonna do all that jazzy stuff. Creating the new world, making the server, all that stuff. Yeah, it's usually it's pretty fast usually. I don't know. Okay, wolves want to attack creepers, we get it, oh my gosh, this is taking a long time, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't know it would take this long. So, um, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so, okay. Come on. Okay, so once you're on your world, you don't need to do anything. Just gonna click this, you're gonna go to exit game. And you're gonna exit without saving. That's right, without saving. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna hit your home button. You're gonna go to the Xbox Home. It's my dog right there. Yeah, that was when him was a baby. So you're gonna go all the way over to Settings tab, System. Scroll down to Storage. Then you're going to go to where you made that map on. See, I made that map on my hard drive. So I'm going to click on that, Games and Apps. Then you're going to find Minecraft, which is in the M, so it's right here. Minecraft, and you're going to find that map you just made. Now, mine is called New World because I didn't change it. So here is, where is it? Okay, here it is, right here. Now I'm just going to move this, yes move, move that to your flash drive, which I'm going to plug in to my Xbox right about now. You can use the two USB ports in the front, it doesn't matter. Like that, it's plugged in. Okay, there you go, your storage devices are going to load up again. And here's that flash drive that I just plugged in. Click on that. Or no, nope, no, you're not. You're gonna go back to the hard drive. Um, gosh, sorry guys. You should plug in your flash drive before you start up Minecraft, so you're gonna, so you don't have to load all that and go back and find your map again. So we go back, find your map. Here it is, right here. You're gonna move this right over to your flash drive, right there. It's gonna move it in progress. All of that good stuff. And once you did that, you're done on your Xbox for now. So you can just um, take that flash drive out of your computer, or not out of your computer, out of your Xbox, because you no longer need to be on your Xbox for this time and being, right now. So um, I'm going to meet you guys on the computer in just a second. Be right back. Okay guys, we're back, and this time I'm on my PC, so don't expect the quality of the video to be too good, because, I don't know, I haven't really recorded anything on a PC yet, I'm normally on my Mac. So once you got that flash drive out of your Xbox, you're going to take that flash drive and put it right under your computer. If your computer has any USB ports, which I'm pretty sure all computers have USB ports, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. Just move some things around if they're all taken. So once you have that thing plugged into your, U or your flash drive, what you're going to do is you're just going to go find a map to download. Any map works. Um, 
They're, they all, all they are always got bin files. So this right here is a great website to get maps. They're always new fun maps. MCDN360.com, great website. I love it. Highly recommend it. So I'm just gonna um, here's one right here. Let's just choose this one and uh, and download destination unknown here. Let's download it. Okay. See, it's a .bin file. All of them are .bins. Should not promise that. So it's gonna download. It might take a little while. Anything like that. In that order. Okay. So once that's downloaded, you're just gonna drag that straight on your desktop. Just keep it there for the time being. And then um, you're also gonna need Horizon, like I said earlier. So you're gonna. I'm gonna have this link in the description, otherwise you can just type in Horizon to your web browser and Horizon, fi find it at m.softonic.com So right there you can find that if you want to type in that link, or you can just click on it in the description. You can download it, it's free download, safe download, there's no bugs or anything like that. I downloaded it off here earlier and it worked just fine, I'm not gonna download it right now because I already have it downloaded. So once you do that, you can just exit out of your web browser, and then you can head over to Horizon. Now Horizon, right here, is this. So once you have your flash drive plugged in, it this should open up automatically right here, this little thing right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Games, Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. It, that's the only one I have, I don't have any other games on this flash drive that I'm using. So, um, yeah. Now you're going to click on that new world you just made. I have a bunch of worlds because this is the one I use for um, transferring my maps and stuff over to my Xbox. So the new world is the one that we transferred over. You're going to double click that. Okay, this right here is what you need. Your profile ID. This is the only thing that matters. That's why we made this map is to get your profile ID. Now once you have this profile ID, you can make a text file on your computer and just keep that there and just so you don't have to make a new map every time you want to get another map. So you're just going to copy this, copy that profile ID right there, right in the middle. Okay, then you're going to hit that X, then you're going to click inject new file. Okay, you're going to find that file you just downloaded, that map, that off the mcd360.com, you're going to download that. Once you have that downloaded, just put it anywhere you have it, where that map is that you downloaded. Just go find it on your computer. Mine's on my desktop right here, as you can see desktop, so I'm just going to click open. Okay, the following packages were successfully transferred to flash drive, space adventure map. Okay, so let's go find space adventure map on here. Okay, so here's space adventure map. Now if you just put this on your Xbox, this will not work because it's not, it's not, you didn't make this map in essence, because it, your profile ID isn't in it. So what you're going to have to do to fix this is you're going to have to double click it, and you see this profile ID again. This is the profile ID of the person that made this map. You don't want their profile ID or else it's not going to work on your Xbox. So you're just going to delete that and you are going to paste in the one that you just copied from the map that we made. So once you have that, you're going to save, hash, and resign. Do it two times just to be safe. doesn't hurt. And you're going to close that now. So once you have that, you're pretty much done. So you can just eject your um, flash drive that you have. I always do it the safe way. Eject. Cancel it. No, let's safely remove it. Okay. Well, let's exit our horizon. Because that's using the flash drive. Safely remove. Okay, now we can safely remove that flash drive from our computer. Or if you just want to rip it out, I mean, <laughs> it, I've never really done that, but, um, yeah, so, if you have that, just take that out of your flash drive, and let's head back over to our Xbox. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. So once you have that flash drive unplugged from your computer, USB ports over there, you can just take this flash drive right here, and insert it straight into your Xbox. Like so. I can just jam it in there. 
Okay. So the flash drive is now inserted in my Xbox. So I'll just head straight on over to our Xbox over here. So now that we're on our Xbox, you will see that our flash drive is now plugged in again right here. Memory unit, flash drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to games and apps, Minecraft, and now you're going to find that the, uh, what is it? It was the Space Adventure map. Right here, you're going to take this. You're going to, you can keep it on here if you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can have it wherever you want, really. I mean, once you copy that profile ID and save, rehash, and resign, it's pretty much your map now. It's not, like, technically your map. You didn't make it or anything like that, but you can play on it. So I'm going to move that just straight over to my hard drive. Move in progress. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now let's go over to games. My games. Hold on, you guys. I'm back, guys. So once you do that, once you take that, put it on your hard drive, you're just going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Right here. See, I have Minecraft. It's going to load up Minecraft. Black screen. All of that good stuff. Okay, you can skip through this. Okay. So, it's going to ask you what you want. So, I'm going to choose my hard drive because that's where I have the map, that the new map that I want. So, it's going to load like that because it's got a new map. Nothing big. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky, guys. Just holding it with one hand. Okay, this should... Okay, there we go. Let's go down and find... Here it is, our space adventure map. Right here, you guys have successfully transferred a map from online to your Xbox. So you're just going to click on that map and just choose whatever settings, survival, peaceful, blah, blah, blah. Just click load. It's going to ask you because if it was made in creative mode, which this one was, I guess. Well, it's from these days because making adventure maps and stuff in survival mode was pretty bit hard and not bad but hard so you guys see that this is in fact a downloaded map okay so um here you go you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed and um, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and you guys are awesome. <laughs>